Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above and out of the corner of your eye, this is a Scentsy haul. Now, this is a first sniffs, literally. The box just came five minutes ago, and the box is sealed, and we are going to do some first sniffing. So in the box are the five new holiday bricks which I will talk about whenever they are. I'll talk about the date. The, oh, another box. The Open Plains Collection, which is available now. And the, just a six pack of ours that I also wanted to pick up. So we have a box inside a box. Probably not inside another box, but wouldn't that be funny? All right. <gasps> Scentsy paper, and oh, these actually came in a Mylar bag, and I wasn't sure. My last haul did not come with a Mylar bag, so interesting that this one did, maybe because it was pretty warm this week. So we have our ice packs, and oh my gosh, this smells delightful. So, all right, so this is part of my six pack. So I'm just going to sort these real quick, take these out of the bags, and we will be right, we will be right there. I will get started. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now that that's done, let's just go through the quick six pack. I picked up another Make Me Snickerdoodle. I really enjoy this. I haven't melted the bar yet, and I only ordered one during like that initial early access bundle. And this is a scent that I wanna melt like in my dining room, living room and kitchen area. So I knew I needed another one to do that space. Salted caramel toffee. I don't remember having this, but it's like a sweet, rich emphasis on the salt, salted caramel, rich, ooey gooey. Definitely wanted to pick up one of those to try. Two farm stand pumpkin. I can't believe I did not have this in my stash. And this is just a great creamy pumpkin. Not super, super spicy, just really, really creamy. And let me tell you, I really like this. It is so yummy. Mm, great, so excited to have that. And this scent, I feel like gets slept on a lot. Perfect day, people don't really like this. And let me tell you, I love pear. And that's what this is, a bright, crisp, fruity pear. And if you watched my empties video a while back, this went for days and days and days and days. This, in my bedroom, you could not get rid of. Like, with the AC on, like, you could not get rid of it all day. Turned it off. Turned it back on the next day. Went all day. Same thing. Days. This threw so well. And I loved every minute of it. And I feel like after all the pumpkins and after all the apples and the cinnamon spice, your nose just needs a little bit of a reset. This scent is perfect for that because it's that crisp, fresh pear. So that was just a little six pack that I picked up with this order. And before we dive into the bricks, I wanna talk about the Open Plains collection. This was a collection that Sensi kind of sprung on us on a whim. And actually, as I'm waving these bars around, I can smell the leather. So this says, tip your hat to our new Open Plains collection. Featuring the Open Plains Warmer, which unfortunately did sell out. It was like this cow skull head. Not my vibe, but clearly a lot of other people's because it's sold out already. And a Scentsy Bar Bundle inspired by the beloved weathered leather fragrance. The collection is perfect for, for Western enthusiasts and boho fans alike. Look yonder to see what's included. So this is still available as I'm filming this. You can get all four bars for $20, or you can add them individually to your club. And I love leather fragrances. I love weathered leather. I love saddle up. I loved sheer leather. Pink leather that came out as a scent of the month, was that July or August? One of those scent warmers of the month. I'm not the biggest fan of it. And it's interesting because one of these sounds really familiar. Like it sounds very reminiscent of pink leather, but it's not. We'll get into that. But I was just not as big of a fan, but I love leather in the bedroom. It's just 
warm and cozy and a little bit sexy. So I was excited to see this collection come out. This is also a great collection for if you're, you know, shopping for a guy in your life and maybe he doesn't want all those fruity fragrances. So really excited to try this one. So I'm just going to go down the list with Under the Oak Tree right here. So this is that guy. It's a brown wax. And the notes read, Age Woods whisper above a layer of worn leather mellowed by hints of crisp apple. I'm just going to pop it out right away. Oh. Okay. This is new leather. This smells like Johnston and Murphy. You know that, like, men's, some stores carry women's, like, small boutique-y type of store. They sell a lot of, like, more dress-up clothes, dress clothes, and they have, like, leather belts and leather shoes. That's sort of what this smells like. Aged woods, worn leather, and crisp apple. Not really getting the crisp apple, necessarily. I am getting the leather, and I know some people say that leather comes across as plasticky to them, I don't get plastic notes from leather, but I love leather scents. So, but yeah, this is interesting. It smells like a new leather shoe store, like a high-end leather shoe store. So, interesting, especially when it says worn leather. So, there's that guy. Next, we have Hometown Cowboy. Now, this is dark suede aged leather sauntered down a dusty avenue lined with black mahogany. Okay. This totally smells like mahogany teakwood and leather. Totally. So what white amber and... White amber and teak is very similar to mahogany teakwood. That's what this smells like. It smells like mahogany teakwood with a hint of leather, but a very light hint. Ooh. I personally feel like if you have, if you like white amber antique, you'll like this. And if you want to add both to your club, I feel like it's not necessary, depending. This is nice. This is different. And what I like about having scents like this in my club are they're more year-round because... Right now, my club is full of spring and summer fragrances. So, like, when they come in, I'm not necessarily wanting to melt them right away. They're just going to sit. But having some scents that are every day in your club are really great. Yeah, this to me smells like mahogany teakwood from Bath & Body Works with a little hint of leather. <gasps> this sounds so exciting. Counting the Stars. Okay, for one, this is an awesome gray color. I love gray. It's one of my favorite colors. And the notes say... A nighttime breeze of juicy strawberry wafts over fresh leather studded with twinkling white woods. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. Okay. This, when I read the notes of pink leather with the strawberry, was like what I expected it to smell like. This is amazing. You totally get the strawberry. And it smells like the strawberry that's in Juicy Strawberry, or Sweet Strawberry. I'm getting the lightest bit of leather. Very light. And that white woods just freshens it up a little bit. This is going in my bedroom. As soon as the scent, I have Dutch apple bread in there now, and it's slowly starting to fade. Once Dutch apple bread is done in my bedroom... I'm going to pop this in there. So far, this is my favorite. I watched Brett and Brad do their first impressions, and when they talked about this, mine was coming the next day, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get my hands on these bars. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's going in my club right after this video, before I melt it, because I want more already. And last but not least is Wide Open Spaces. Now, this is interesting. It says, a glimpse of brilliant panorama of white leather sweetened with sugarcane and a splash of cozy vanilla. Hmm. Okay. This is my least favorite. Hmm. 
It leans body care. Not much leather. Almost like if leather was turned into a body care. Sugar cane, vanilla leather. Yeah, this is one I'm going to have to melt to see how it transforms. But so far, it's my least favorite. Oh, hmm. Yeah, not a, not a huge fan. It's just not much. I was expecting like a real fresh clean with the name Wide Open Spaces, like fresh and aquatic almost. But this is definitely more warm vanilla. It's not bad. It's just my least favorite. I was expecting more. Okay. Overall, really interesting collection. So, okay. First, definitely counting the stars. Then, under the oak tree. Then, hometown cowboy. And then, wide open spaces. So, super fun collection. I actually love the colors together. They're like this really fun neutrals with like a pop. If I can hold them with a pop of blue. Fun. So really excited for those. Now, pull up the bricks. We have bricks. Five bricks. And these might look a little different because they're shaped like Christmas trees. Listen, I'm so excited. For one, I love a brick. And if you're wondering, that's a lot of wax. Yes. It is a lot of wax. However, they're shaped like Christmas trees and it's so much fun. Like there's something about tiny versions of something and giant versions of something. And for me, the bricks are just the way to go. I love a giant thing. And especially when it comes to wax that you're melting over and over again, I can get through a bar so quick, but it takes me a while to get through a brick. So I feel a lot more... Um, I feel like I'm saving money because I'm not going through it as fast. I'm not like throwing it away. I don't know. My mindset with bricks is I love them. And I'm super excited that we took the traditional bar and changed it to a Christmas tree for the holidays. So very excited. And if you can see right here, it's gold foiled, you guys. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. That is is beautiful. Now these are a slight bit smaller than the regular bricks. They are 13.5 ounces, so it's about five bricks, because five bars, because a bar is 2.6 ounces, so around there. So anyway, before we get into the bricks, let me read what Sensi says. Holiday Sensi bricks are returning this year, this time with a festive new twist. These five bricks will be shaped like Christmas trees and include labels with beautiful gold foil accents to add cheer to the holiday season. This collection will be available to everyone starting October 16th, featuring two bricks of your choice or a bundle of all five. Um, they will be retailing for $24 for one, two for 40 or all five for $90. Now, one thing that I do wanna mention is if you choose the two, you can choose whatever fragrance. If you choose the five, it is a bundle of all five. You don't get to say like, I love Holly Jolly Cider, so I'm just gonna get a five pack of that for 90. You do have to buy the five pack together like this. But if you're like, Drew, whoa, that's a lot of wax. Yeah, it is a lot of wax. And that's a lot of commitment for something I'm not sure I'm gonna like. No worries, because as well on October 16th, you will be able to add the bar of this fragrance to your Scentsy Club. Now, I will say, I don't believe the bars are shaped like Christmas trees. It doesn't really say. I haven't seen anything like that, but I believe that the bar form of these will be available to add to your Scentsy Club October 16th. Again, do not quote me, but I believe they are. So anyway... And there is a disclaimer, the wax in the Holiday Scentsy bricks may experience cracking. This is due to the unique shape of the bricks packaging. Unfortunately, the cracking can't be prevented. We will not be issuing refunds for cracked bricks, but don't worry, this does not affect the quality of the fragrance experience. So, little disclaimer to put out there. There are two old returning fragrances and three 
brand new fragrances. However, the two returning fragrances, I've actually never smelled from Scentsy. So to me, they're all five returning or brand new. So let's get started just going down the list in alphabetical order with Candy Apple. Now you see the little can, the apples above the word candy, little green. They are green shapes. And can we look? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are 15 cubes in the Scentsy uh, Christmas brick. And there's a lot of smaller sizes too, which is really nice. Like for a mini warmer, you can use these like side ones. You might still need to cut these big ones in half, but I kind of like having more cubes in this than previously. Less cutting. All right. Candy apple, tart green apples with a sweet candy accent, previously called winter candy apple. So you can see I do have a crack right here. It's fine. Um, this used to be called winter candy apple, but they did change the name, I believe, because Bath & Body Works has a name, winter candy apple. Oh, this is a dupe. This is literally winter candy apple from Bath & Body Works. Like, totally. If you smell winter candy apple from Bath & Body Works, it's literally the same thing. Tart green apples and sweet candy accents, yeah. This is a tart, sweet candy apple. If you know that scent from Bath & Body Works and you want Scentsy's version, pick it up. Well, that was quick. It literally smells like winter candy apple. It's exciting. I love winter candy apple. I know winter candy apple, vanilla bean oil, twisted peppermint, basic, but listen. I still love the fragrances, so. All right, next we have Cozy Kitchen. All right, so Cozy Kitchen is warm up to a blissful batch of warm oats with brown sugar and a spicy cinnamon swirl. She's also cracked at the same spot. Oh, this is nice. This... Oh, this is really nice. Like, I know, like I said, this was out before. But this is my first sniff. Warm oats, brown sugar, and spicy cinnamon. Yeah. This is a good blender. This is a very good, warm, calming, cinnamon sugar type of fragrance. It's really pretty. I really enjoy it. This will be a nice living room scent when it's really cold outside in the winter and you just want to stay home all day, put on comfy PJs, and just sit in the house, I would melt this. This is comforting, sweet, spicy, brown sugary, delicious warmth. Oh, this is so nice. Like, yeah, like a cozy kitchen. Like you're baking something delicious in the oven. Oh, okay. Super yummy on this one. Really excited for that. Next, we have all the new fragrances. We have Forever Flannel. Fun, light blue here. I'm very excited about this one. Get comfy with soft lavender, warm sandalwood, and an inviting touch of bergamot. <gasps> Solid intact brick. Oh. Ooh, let me see if I can. Am I able to pop the whole thing out? <gasps> Without a break. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Big old Scentsy bar. Okay, this smells like a very, very mellow version of Fluffy Fleece. This is beautiful. This, total bedroom. And I know that's a lot of wax for a bedroom, but to me, total bedroom, total bedroom. This is warm and comforting. Lavender, more like a lavender bubble bath than like an herbal lavender. Like a very sweet, calming, like baby bath lavender. The sandalwood and bergamot just, like I said, create like this. I don't want to say laundry and you think like frosty air or any linen fragrance. It's not like that. This is like comforting, like fabric softener. This is really pretty. It's light. I'm going to let this sit. And like I said, that's why I would put it in a bedroom, but oh, that's nice. Definitely not what I was expecting from a flannel fragrance. I was expecting really masculine and heavy, but no, this is very light and comforting. That's really pretty. 
<laughs> Next, we have Holly Jolly Cider. Now, I did watch a few people's first sniffs of these already, and from what I understand, this is consensus a favorite. Warm apple cider infused with cinnamon sticks and a whiff of evergreen. Ooh, another perfectly intact one. Mmm. Oh, um, this reminds me of a lush scent for the holidays that I did not care for. That cinnamon stick and evergreen. I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like the cinnamon stick is what I don't like as much. It's the evergreen. Ah, I don't know. I was expecting more cider. This is way more tree. It's like mostly Christmas tree and cinnamon and a tiny bit of apple cider. And I was expecting it to be a little bit more balanced. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So mm. definitely my least favorite, which is sad, but Christmas tree scents just aren't for me. So, oh, well, that is Holly Jolly Cider. It could completely change on warm. Scents definitely bloom whenever you warm them. And last but not least, we have orange spice and everything nice. And orange is one of my favorite colors. So I'm very excited about this one. Freshly brewed winter orange tea with hints of mulled spices and vanilla bean. I like this. This is very mellow. Like the mulled spices and the vanilla bean totally tone down the orange tea. But it's interesting because you can tell it's an orange tea and not a like fresh orange or like a like an orange pomander with the spices. You can tell this is a tea. Like it's a very liquidy, earthy fragrance. This is pretty. This is really pretty. This is a good company worthy fragrance. I feel like if you melted this in your house and people came in, they're like, it smells like the holidays, but it doesn't smell like Christmas tree or pine or cinnamon, but it smells like the holidays. You embrace the holidays. You're enwrapping your home in holiday fragrance with this orange spice and everything nice. It's so pretty. I love. Absolutely love. This is really pretty. This is definitely my type of holiday fragrance for sure. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I like this. This is really pretty. All right, ranking. Definitely my least favorite is Holly Jolly Cider. It might change on warm. I'm just not the biggest fan of tree fragrances, but if you like tree fragrances, pick this up. Then Forever Flannel, just because it's light and it's more of a laundry fragrance, which flannel I get, I figured, but I have fragrances like this, so it's not a favorite. Cozy Kitchen, number three, it's good, but it's more like blender. It's more like background, like cinnamon sugar. It's not unique. And then to be honest, I have to tie Winter Candy Apple or Candy Apple and Orange Spice and everything nice because they're so different. I love Candy Apple. I love the original fragrance. I love all things like that for the holidays. I'm basic like that. And this is like quintessential holiday. So I can't pick a favorite on these. These are both amazing. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Listen, bricks just bring me joy. Like there's something so exciting about holiday bricks. Like look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's literally bigger than my head. <sighs> Massive. All right, guys. That was my video for today. A little more casual, a little more laid back. I hope you enjoyed. And again, the Open Plains Collection is available now on my website or your consultant's website, and the Holiday Bricks will be available on Monday, October 16th, also on my website. So definitely check them out. Let me know if you sniff them, if you're consultants with early access, if you are planning on ordering, let me know what you want to get, and I will talk to you guys soon. Make it a better world. Be kind. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you're up to date every time I upload a video here on YouTube. And I love you guys. Bye.